love in all the wrong men. Character confides in others at her own risk. Character is fatigued, hollow, suffers from self-doubt, a sense of worthlessness. Character learns the hard way to believe in herself, no brown eyes. Character finally finds happiness when she meets Brad, a successful older businessman. Five five. Logline. A woman fights to save her soul. Think a young Carol Lombard meets a younger Anna Nicole. Requires an actress that will leave an audience speechless. Who's found her creative voice, not a speaking role. Thelma Todd. This Svedka sponsored T Mobile party, tucked into the tight shoulder blades of the Pacific Palisades, is honoring the lifetime achievements of Christina Aguilera. In the background, Debbie Harry croons for a terrace of people titillated for the songs of incoming messages. And I'm in some charcoal hallway, cornered by an actress in a bandage dress, burned one too many times, whose cocktail is doing all the healing, sloshing on about the good old days, back when we were all periodless and vivacious, our winning auditions clinging to our underwear. How we'd piss victory and brush the rejection out of our hair. She wants to know what I think of Annie, how vulgar her success is, what a tragedy it's all become. Am I also allergic to her over-enunciations? She wants to know if I've heard about the, re about the opposite of the handsome future failure, and am I getting in line to lose weight for the seventh chance director? Do I want advice in general, but more specifically, on how to blow up my breasts into fame balloons, send them up to the helium angels on the string of a body. Your career has like another five years left, like maybe, she says. According to who, I ask. According to like every actress that's come before you. <laughs> Touche. So I turn my focus to every actress coming after me. I wade through the crowd with a canister of judgment. I tag the train of every dress, leave my mark on their scars. At the bar, I run into Nancy, drinking away her forties. Her eyes are flush, broken compasses, lost between age fifteen and fifty. Fermented blood. Drink, drink deeper. I do not look into her ocean. The fish there float to the bottom. I fear I'll go down there too, identifying with the abyss, washed up, banging on the back door of a black hole. I plow through the women's room doors into cool tiled silence, and I run warm water over my shaking hands. Above the sink, above the mirror, a picture of the bar's first owner stares down at me, that Dust Bowl era actress who killed herself in that Lincoln or fell asleep with the engine running, or maybe, maybe it was a Packard convertible. She would have had to make her comeback one day soon. When the coroner cut her open, he found only peas and beans in her stomach, no balloon moonstones beneath old fa fashioned bandages. I looked down at the sink, the water brimming over the tops of my wrists and onto the floor. I do not tell my fingers what to do. My hands are not my hands. They are the water, surrounded by swirling, singing, overflowing stars. <laughs>